Hello there and welcome to a Partners in Crime tutorial on how to make a futuristic intro in Blender 2.67. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do here is press 1 on my own pad and press Ctrl Alt 0. Now what this does is it brings the camera into front view. Okay, so press numpad 1 and then press Ctrl Alt 0 to bring the camera into front view. Okay. Now I'm going to delete the default cube by pressing X on my keyboard and clicking delete. And I'm going to add mesh grid. To add a grid. I'm going to rotate the grid 90 degrees on the X axis by pressing R, X, and then 90. I'm going to scale it up by 8 blender units by pressing S and then 8. S, 8. And I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab on my keyboard and pressing W and clicking subdivide. Change the number of cuts to 5. Yeah, we'll go with 5. Okay, now I'll go into the material section and add a new material. Make the material wire and make the material limit by about 0.5. Go into the world settings and drag the horizon down to black. Okay, before we forget that later. And I'm going to go into the window layer section here and name this layer grid click the first layer and I'm going to add a text layer I'm going to name it text okay select the second layer now I'm going to add text rotate the text 90 degrees on the x-axis and go into the text object data under paragraph and align, click center. Okay, now that centers the text on the origin. Go into the material section, add a material for our text, and change the emit value to 1. Okay, now I'll press M with the text still selected to move the text to the second layer. Click the second layer. Okay, now hold down shift on your keyboard and click the second layer down here. And we'll render these layers. Okay. I'm gonna go into the compositor, check use nodes, and check backdrop. Add output viewer. Okay. To add a viewer, now add an add node by adding color mix and change the mix to add. Select our render layers grid node here by left clicking it. Press Shift D to duplicate it and change it to text. Okay. I'll get to our hook our add node to our viewer node. Click this down here. Okay. Hmm. So okay. Now I'm going to go back into default view. Okay, and I'm going to add two more layers. Our third layer will be named Flare Center, and our fourth layer will be named Flare Line. Select the fourth layer, and select the third layer for Flare Center, the fourth layer for Flare Line. Okay, I'm going to press Z to go into Wire Frame View. Add a UV sphere by going cl by clicking Add and then Mesh in the UV sphere. Okay, size it down to zero on the Y axis by pressing S in the Y and then zero. Go into the Material section, add a new material for this, but make it emit by two. Okay, scale it down a bit on the X axis by pressing S and then X, and then scale it down completely by pressing X. Okay, now press Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate this. Size it down a bit on the X axis until it looks like a line. Okay, size it up on the Z axis by pressing S and then Z. And we're going to move this one to our fourth layer. I'm going to move this one to the third layer. I'm going to hold Shift and select the third and fourth layer down at the bottom of the screen here. And now I'm going to render this. 
jump back into your compositor click our add node shift D to duplicate it okay shift D to duplicate our text render layers node to add change it from text to flare center okay now I'm going to add a blur node by going add filter and then blur change it from Gaussian to fast Gaussian now I'm going to add let's see filter glare change it to fog glow change the quality to high pull the threshold down to zero and add color RGB curves okay going to blur this by 5 on the x-axis we'll go with 3 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis see how that looks okay now we're gonna make it a uh, bluish green color we're gonna lower the red levels on the RGB curves and heighten the blue levels okay that should be that should be good for now now I'm going to duplicate our add node here okay by selecting it and then pressing shift D and hook it up to the compositor and the viewer press B to box select all of these nodes here for our flare center shift D to duplicate it okay now this is important changes from flare center to flare line okay and we're gonna make it blur by about 15 on the Y axis 15 on the Y and about 2 on the X we'll go with 25 on the Y see how that looks okay drag this up alright now we're going to add in our background here select our add node shift D to duplicate that again and add input image I will include this image file in the in the description I'm going to select texture for tutorial see how that one looks I'm going to add distort scale and hook this up here okay change it to render size okay I'm gonna shift D this RGB curves here and just drag the color down just a little bit under alright now I'm going to go up to our grid layer here our grid nodes add color hue saturation value change the value to about 0 point one seven seven okay so just fades in background there all right now we're going to add a plan rotate the plan 90 degrees on the X axis scale it down on the Z axis add a new material make it black and shapeless press M while it is still selected and click the second layer I think I think text is the second layer okay yes move it to the same layer that your text is on and let's see GX I'm gonna move it so the edge is on the origin here this red and white circle here alright material is black and shadeless I'm going to B to box like this and move it up on the Z axis okay and we're going to render and see how this looks okay now I'm going to um, see add a keyframe for this 
I'm going to duplicate everything that's selected here. And on plane, uh, frame 30, I'm going to press I to insert a keyframe. Uh, make sure the keyframe is location. And on frame about 60, I'm going to pull this back. Okay. And our, our, you want to move it just past your text. So if you've edited your text to be longer than this, and you will pull it back further. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it back a little bit past my text here. Insert keyframe location. Okay, now I'm going to select our flares here, our flare center and our flare align. Jump back into frame 30 and enter a keyframe for this location. Jump back into frame 60. Okay. Now I'm going to select our second plane here that hasn't been keyframed yet and move it to the right of the origin so that its left side is on the origin here. Okay. That's good. And for frame 30, I shall insert a keyframe for this. Alright. Now on frame 60, I'm going to want all of this selected right now. Our, flares, our second flare center and flare line along with our right sided plane and I'm going to move it past the text. Okay. Insert keyframe location. Alright, now we're going to animate our camera. So, we're going to have it zoomed in by about, change our focal length to 38 for frame 30. Jump to frame 60 and change the focal length to 35. Hover your mouse over it and press I to insert keyframe. Okay, so on frame 30, you want to press I to insert the keyframe for 38 to make your focal length 38 at frame 30. And frame 60, you want your focal length to be 35. Okay, now this kind of makes it look like it's zooming out on the text as our flares pull away from the text. Okay. I'm going to change the in frame to 90 so that when you render it, it doesn't render a whole bunch of extra frames that you don't really need. I'm going to render this to see how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the compositor and animate the brightness of our flares. Okay, so what you want to do is we're going to duplicate our hue saturation value node. Okay. And now we're going to jump to frame 29 and make the value 0. Shift D to duplicate our hue saturation value node. Okay. Make sure you hook it to flare center and flare line. You don't want it on any of the other layers. Okay, so make the value 0 on frame 29. Jump to frame 30 and make the value 2. Press I to insert the keyframe. 2. Press I to insert the keyframe. Okay. And now we're going to go to frame 60. And we're going to put the value back down to zero. Insert the keyframe. Insert the keyframes by hovering over your hue saturation or value and pressing I on your keyboard. Hover your cursor over the value and press I. Okay. I'm going to go back into default view. See how this looks. Alt A to play our animation. Okay, what the keyframes do is they make it fade out until about frame 60 when they'll completely disappear. Okay, so I'm going to render it at frame 34. Go back into the compositor. See if we can mess with our flare lines a bit here. If you don't like your flares bulky looking, you can size down our spheres here. It's X, S, 
x s and just shift it to this to size on the z axis okay shift d size on the x size on the z let's see okay see how this looks at frame 30 alright and we're finished okay make sure to save your file and if you want to render it out to a video choose your settings I put the anti-aliasing to 6 and usually choose XBID or H.264 to render out to a video. Okay. And make sure to stay tuned for more tutorials. And uh, that's all.